What's up guys? So in this video, we'll be finishing up the tooltip library by adding some tests. And let me get started with that. First, I'll go ahead and create a test directory inside my SRC. We want our test to be co-located. That's the reason we do it. And here I've created my directory. Uh, next, I'll create an index.js file here. And here we can import React and import a tooltip component as well. Import tooltip from dot dot. And I'll go ahead and create a sample test. So you can write it like this. So let's say test, testing. And here we can just, for now we can just write some empty things. So const app is equal to tooltip and we can write something here hover over me let's try to keep it similar to the way we have in the docs here tooltip and give it a render prop of hey there yeah that should do the trick for the test and now in order to run the test with jest we can go ahead in our package JSON and create a script for test I'll create a script here called test and here we, we can do just hyphen hyphen watch so let's run our test in watch mode and give that a save and I'll run yarn test so I have an alias called yt for that and we have got some errors as you can see uh, just is pointing out that we have actually used something and we are not actually transpiling it properly and so we are actually using modern javascript syntax here and some of these are not uh, currently in final stage what we can do in order to resolve this is add the babel plugin for proposed class properties and i'll just stop this and what we need is the babel plugin for proposal class properties what the uh, plugin will do is actually transpile all our class properties which are these arrow functions we have in the in our component into something that is understandable by older browsers or just in this case i'll add yarn add as a dev dependency Babel plugin proposal class properties here and this should add the dependency for us one more thing we might need here is a dev dependency of Babel core 7 so we do a Babel core at 7 it will ask you to pick one of the versions so I'll just go ahead and pick 7 bridge 0. let's see what happens now Cool. so we have I think we have everything ready and here I'll just run my tests again white T on test okay so we have got some more issues here so yeah so the issue is that we just added the dependency but I haven't actually updated the Babel RC file so I'll just stop the process here go into my Babel RC and I can create a plugins variable here const plugins is equal to say babel plugin proposal class properties give that a save and i'll also export that here plugins they should actually let just do its work so i'll run yarn test again mm. great so our tests are passing now one thing I would like to point out here is that you might run into some issue even after solving this and what I would recommend you to do is remove the node modules and the yarn lock file if needed and after that run yarn install again and even after that if you face any issues please uh, let us know in the comments but uh, for most of the parts if you see any issues this command should resolve it so yeah 
now I'll just run the test again in watch mode great and now we can get to testing things here now I'm going to import some methods from react testing library which we are going to use here and I really like this library because it encourages you to not test implementation details but what your user actually sees on the screen and specifically uh, the function we need here is the render function which we'll use uh, to render our app and then uh, test some things based out on what we want to do the render function it actually returns some helpful methods when we render our app here and as we can see here so like get by label text get by placeholder text get by text get by all text so what we want here is get by text so this will actually suffice for all our needs and this will search for all elements that have a text node with some text content matching the given text match and it's really helpful for our case because we have some text content over here which is like very helpful for testing things here and let's get started with this and I'll just do first okay first we'll actually make this app a component a stateless component so yeah now this is a react component and now I can import my render function from the app testing library Import render from the app testing library got it here and now we're going to render a wrap using this method here and let's see what we actually get here so I'll actually log this into the console console.log hit save and we have got a bunch of things here so we have a lot of things here like these are all the methods that render function exposes to us from react testing library and we can actually just uh, get rid of the console log we have here and I'll just destructure one of these methods that we're using here called get by text. And yeah, so that should give us the text. And let's see if we can find this node we have over here, hover over me. And let's just log that in. So I'll do console.log get by text. And here I'll just paste in my text which we had here. So console.log and looks like it is able to find that node here so it just returned us a node which it was able to find in our entire app tree so this is really useful because we can now make some assertions on this and since we are uh, testing for if the children are rendered properly so if this thing is passing and we are getting our node correctly then that means that it is actually getting rendered properly so we can actually get rid of console.log here and we'll use this get by text method but first before that we can actually improve this further and let's create some test variables let's say const text is equal to uh, hey there and const children we can say hover over me and now I can actually use this here so that we don't end up repeating ourselves too much so constant is equal to text and here I'll just substitute children and now we can get further into testing so what we want to do is let's use expect and we expect that we can get by text the children so here it is hover over me so we expect that it is actually getting rendered into the DOM here so let's see and we expect that its inner HTML should be equal to the string itself so let's hit save and yep so our test is passing and just to verify like if the test is running can I add the not and this should fail the text let's go into what happened so yeah as you can see so it expected the value to be hover over me 
it does actually it didn't expect the value to be hover over me but it was hover over me because we are actually testing things here so now we can get rid of this not and yeah so we are good to go with our first test